Hi, I'm Paris, and if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm very picky about pillows. I've probably reviewed about eight of them. One of them actually did win me over, and it's my nightly sleeper right now. But I'm always open to something newer and better, so when the people at Pillow, P-I-L-O, contacted me and asked if I would try out their new design with a special, exciting feature, I couldn't say no. Epic review time. There are two features that really made me want to try out the PILO pillow. One is that it provides cervical spine support, so there's sort of like a little bowl shape missing in the middle of the pillow where your head lies, and it supports your neck. Very nice. My, the pillow that's my nightly sleeper actually has that same feature. But what my current pillow doesn't have is a way to listen to the old-time radio show app that I use on my phone. I listen to those stories to go to sleep. This pillow not only has a speaker, has two speakers built in with a connection to your headphone jack so it splits the signal so that you can actually listen to binaural audio and get that effect while you're going to sleep. So no more trying to fall asleep with headphones on or earbuds. I use the earbuds and then wake up with them wrapped around in the sheet or worse yet, wrapped around my neck. So would it be a stretch to say this pillow could actually be life-saving? In any case, thank you so much to the folks at Pillow for sending me this out to try. It does not come cheap. All the technology in this pillow goes for about $160, but if it's life-saving, could well be worthwhile. Find out more about it at the link down below this video. It's got a good bit of heft. I think it's a memory foam-based pillow. And such an interesting shape. Or shapes. The back is pretty much just flat and there is the cable. But the cable's good and long, even got a stretchy section there. So I'm pretty sure I could keep my phone on the nightstand rather than what I do now, which is having it in bed with me. And as I mentioned, there's sort of a bowl shape right here for your head to lie back in. And then you've got the support here with the V-shape to provide that cervical spine support. I guess if you... That's pretty much how it's meant to be used lying on your back. I would guess you could, if you wanted it thinner, lie on it this way. Your left and right channel for the stereo would be reversed that way. I'm definitely a side sleeper when I actually go to sleep, but I don't mind lying like this to listen to the story. It feels pretty good. So the speakers, I can't feel them, which is what I want, because I've tried pillows before that had speakers in them, but I could either feel them or they were too faint and I couldn't hear the story. They would be okay for some kind of music, but you'd only get a vague sense of it. So I need powerful enough speakers and high enough quality speakers to be able to make out the words and listen to my stories. And then for side sleeping, I'm obviously not going to have a binaural effect, though I would think I should still be able to hear one channel. I'll, I'll try that out and let you know. But I'm going to be oh, on the edge of the pillow, like this, which still doesn't feel too bad. It's as so long as it doesn't come up and smush on my nose, I'm usually okay. Also, I forgot to mention they have an app that works with this. You can you can play your music or your audio files from any app on your phone, but they have their own app which has different ambient sounds, nature sounds, white noise, and binaural sounds that you can use with this. So I'll read through the instructions, download the app onto my phone, get it all set up and then take it for a test nap. Here's a pillow that I currently use. It's by Arc for Life, and you can see the cutout bowl section there. Your neck, when you're lying on your back, goes right there, and so you've got that spine support. Here is the PILO pillow. I've taken the outer pillowcase off, and it's got an inner case. Very lingerie looking and very soft. But you can see here, there's the bowl where your head will sit. And then this portion right here that supports your neck. The cover on the PILO is washable, so I've just decided to go ahead and use this rather than put my pillowcase over it, which might muffle the sound a little bit more. So it's comfortable enough to lie on. It's memory foam. The head does sink in a little, which makes it a little warmer than other pillows I've found, but they say in their instruction manual that it's an open cell type foam, so it does allow some air to pass through and it can wick away your sweat. Having figured out everything that the app on the phone does, this is the main screen that comes up. It does replace your alarm with the nature sounds or the binaural sounds if you'd like to be woken up with those through the speakers in the pillow. It also lets you start those sounds when you're going to sleep, but I'm not sure how it works as a timer yet. Let me see here. There's a little metronome thing. 
It's the, and you can control the volume of the foreground music and the background sounds. This should be ocean waves. But there are a number of different sound types you can try out. But my preferred going to sleep audio is in the old time radio player app. Right now I'm in the middle of listening to episodes of Gunsmoke and I really want to know do Marshall Dillon and Kitty get together at some point? Because my gosh those are two star-crossed lovers that you root for, you so want them to get together and yet you know it probably will never come to pass. I've got my USB Type-C adapter here on the end of the cable, so I'm going to plug it into my phone now, start up my Gunsmoke episode, and see how it sounds. Okay, here we go. Oh, I heard the horse riding up. It sounds like the sound is coming from here and here and just sort of rising up off the pillow. I need the volume up just a little. I'm going to, I'm going to put the volume all the way up. Let's see if you can hear it then. Oh, that's pretty loud. Can you hear that? You have to be able to hear that. <laughs> Let me put it down a little so that I can hear it, but maybe the sound wouldn't travel too far beyond my own ears. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Can you hear it now? I hear it just fine. I'm going to try lying down next to this pillow and see if I can hear it over there. I, I can hear it as sort of a mumbling raw, 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 kind of sound, but I can't make it out. So it is quite a bit softer next to the pillow rather than lying on the pillow. But some of the sound does carry over. I suppose if my head were there, it would block at least one speaker's worth of it, though. Yeah, this is about the lowest volume I can have it at here and still be able to hear clearly what they're saying. That's about two thirds of the way up on the volume of the phone. These are the sounds of an afternoon in Argentina. I think that's Mount Fitzroy there on the wallpaper. Part of the sound is like an alarm, actually. It's not very relaxing, but then I hear nature sounds in the background. There's a bird. The bird over there on the right. Oh, this must be some kind of binaural thing because it sounds a little like a xylophone doing just the deeper notes. Not, so not an alarm. And now I have different musical sounds at different spots around my head being played. It's interesting. I've got Forest playing now. It's nice. I like the fact that you can adjust the background nature sounds and the foreground music. So whichever you prefer, you can have fill up more of the sound space. I'm going to listen to this for a while and see how the binauralness of it is. I've been listening to this one for a couple of minutes. Definitely relaxing. I found myself breathing deeply and feeling relaxed. The music is more of the binaural effect. And I could tell, not with what's playing right now, but the previous one, that if you do get those binaural tingles, which I don't, I'm pretty sure this will set you up for that because I could definitely hear the, the sound moving through my head as it went back and forth between the ears. I like the nature sounds better. There were birds before, then frogs, now crickets. I actually have a binaural video that I recorded on a different channel. So I'm going to play that uh, via the YouTube video on the phone and see if I can hear that uh, binaural sound. Now I'm to the point in the video where I was standing near wind chimes strong effect with this. Oh yeah, I can hear it exactly where the sound was coming from. I remember I was standing in front of the wind chimes. Now for side sleeping, it seems like they recommend flipping the pillow around so that the narrow edge is what your neck sits over. And I've got my ear right over one of the speakers because it's actually a little too loud. And this is at the two third volume. So I need to, yeah, I need to drop the volume to be able to comfortably listen to it here. So there's plenty of volume when I have it this way. Yeah, I would say 50% volume is good for side sleeping. That gives me plenty of volume to be able to make out what they're saying. Well, I'll be sleeping on this tonight, so I'll let you know tomorrow. Well, it's the morning after the night before. I did sleep all night with the PILO pillow. It's a nice pillow. The sound does carry some. I found when I would leave my episode playing, 
go to the restroom and come back. By the foot of the bed, I could hear the kind of sound. So, so if you sleep with someone else in the room, that's something to consider, whether that little low amount of sound would bother them. Or depending on what you listen to, if you're listening to a binaural nature video, that's not going to carry quite as loudly as the sound of voices, I think. And just in terms of being a comfortable pillow, I had a good night's sleep. This provided good support for my head. My neck feels good this morning, so I know it did a good job. I also slept most of the night on my side, and that was comfortable also. I didn't sink too far in, didn't have the pillow squishing against my nose, so I had a very good night's sleep. I found it worked well with the binaural sound files that they provided in the app, but if you have your own files that you'd like to listen to and some of them are on the softer side, you may not get quite the same effect with the pillow. So if you're a fan of binaural audio or even listening to stories, music, nature sounds while you're falling asleep but it irritates you so much having to wear headphones or earbuds as you're falling asleep, this is a nice way around that. This is probably the best solution I've seen to being able to listen to binaural and regular audios and stories while you're going to sleep without having the wires wrapped around you and without having the sound bother someone else in the room. As I mentioned, the price for the pillow is about $160, but if having this convenient way of listening to your sound files and going to sleep would really make your day, make your night, you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. Thanks again to the folks at Pillow for sending me this to try out, and I'll see you on the next review. Epic review, guys. Wanna watch it all?